Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to install MySQL 8.0.31 server and workbench latest version on Windows 10, 11 laptop and PC. So you just need to follow a few simple steps and the installation will be done very quickly. You will be getting the link in the description. You need to come to this website. And once you come here, you need to download the second option that is for the size of 431.7 MB. So click on download. You will be redirected to the next page here. You have to click on no thanks. Just start my download. And once you click on it, the downloading will be started at the left hand corner on Google Chrome and on the right hand top in Microsoft Edge. So once downloaded, you have to click on the setup file. And the installation screen will be up here. It might ask you for a few permissions. So you have to click on yes. And then you will see a pop up that says mandatory MySQL installer upgrade available. So if you want to upgrade it, you can go and click on yes and follow the steps. Now here I'm clicking on no just to show you the explanation that how the installation will be done. So I will click on no. And now finally SQL installer will be up and here it will ask you that what kind of setup type you want so you can choose any one of them depending that what all feature you want. In this video we are talking about MySQL installer, workbench and the shell so we will go with the custom. So I will choose custom and then click on next. And then here in the available product box you need to click on the plus icon of MySQL servers then on mysql server again and then mysql server 8.0 and then click on mysql server 8.0.31 once you click on it click on this green arrow and this will be added to product to be installed box next click on application then click on mysql workbench plus icon then choose mysql workbench 8.0 and then choose mysql workbench 8.0.31 and then click on this arrow icon and this will be also added in the product list to be installed next finally we also need to add mysql shell so do the same with mysql shell and add it and then finally click on next now this will show you that what all product will be installed so you click on execute and this installation will be started so just wait until this has been installed and then you have to move with the next step and once completed click on next and then click on next again and here it will show you that uh, what connectivity option like the port number and all the details i won't recommend that you should make any changes here so simply click on next and then it will ask you the authentication method that how do you want to authenticate so you can go with the first option that is use a strong password encryption for authentication and then click on next and now it will ask you the password that you want for the authentication so you need to type the password here and then confirm the password once done you have to click on next and then it will show you your windows service name and make sure that you remember your password okay because that password only you will have to use to log into your mysql database now the next option is start the mysql server at system startup so if you want that your computer your windows uh, should automatically start this mysql whenever you boot your computer then you keep this option checked or else you can uncheck this option and then click on next and here it asks do you want mysql installer to update the server file permission for you so you can just go with yes and then click on next and then finally click on execute and this all option will be checked one by one so wait until this all are being checked and then click on finish then click next and now click finish again and the installation has been now completed but you have to go with some more steps where you have to add your mysql to microsoft environment variable so close everything and you will see your mysql workbench here and here you if you click on local distance you can connect it by typing the same password that you just created so let me show you that what is the next step to do the final installation so close just minimize this and then click on the search box and type here environment and from the suggestion choose edit the system environment variable this box will be up 
here you have to click on environment variables this another box will be up now here in the system variable you have to look for path option and then click on edit then click on new and here you have to add the path of mysql to get to get the path open your file explorer from the left in menu click on this pc then go to local disk c and then look for program files look for mysql double click on it then you will get mysql server 8.0 double click on it then double click on bin and then copy this path click copy go back and then again click on new and just add the path here by making a right click and choose paste once done click on ok and then click on ok again ok all right now in order to verify whether the mysql has been properly added to your microsoft uh, laptop or pc or not you have to click on the search box type cmd choose run as administrator click yes and here you have to type my sql space minus minus version and hit enter and now you can see it says mysql version 8.0.31 for win64 on x86 64 mysql community server so this clearly shows you that mysql 8.0.31 has been installed on your windows 10 and 11. So that's all guys for today hopefully this video will help you to quickly install mysql properly on your windows 11 or 10 pc and laptop if you found this video helpful you can consider subscribing to the channel for more related videos in the future till then take care bye bye